What do you get PNID allows you to create your own symbols. And so if you have been working with sort of maybe AutoCAD LT limited edition, where you have got all your own blocks and symbols that you use for your PNIDs, um, and it's not exactly the way that it's portrayed in the, 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 the symbol that you get in AutoCAD PD, PNID straight out of the bat, um, then you can create your own, your own symbol. So today I'm going to show you two different ways to create the symbols. One is to make it part of the library, and another way is to just create it on the fly. So the first one, we're just going to create on the fly. And if you see, I've got my, my PNID drawing open. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you can see over here, I've just got, you know, two arcs and a rectangle. I'm going to create this, um, make this into a PNID uh, symbol. So select all your, um, your lines and arcs, right click, and you'll see a convert to PNID object. So selecting on convert and PNID object, you'll see there, I can go create a tank out of it. I want it to be a vessel. Okay, great. That, that's, that's fine. You can see that you know these are my engineering items equipment. So you can choose any of these, either engineering or non-engineering items. So I'm going to say yes, okay, and uh, then it asks me specify your insertion base point. So I'm going to say down at the bottom over here. You'll see it got it, it turns green, which tells me that it's now been um, you know sort of made into some pin ID equipment, and uh, I can now you know start uh, you know drawing my pipes off or onto it. So if I select my pipe, it comes into it. Or my line you'll now notice there that it actually puts in a, a nozzle over there so it's now also automatically generating nozzles onto my components over there so you can see there's the nozzle that's not the one that you want you can just select it and um, select the drop down arrow and say look right i need uh, that type of nozzle or i actually wanted to click on this one over there okay so they're very very quick and easily you're able then to go and create your equipment um, with an automated nozzle coming up with now that's a one swap. So that's something, and if you have to do this over and over again, you don't want to have to go and create, uh, you know, AutoCAD PNID symbol over and over and over again. So what we're going to do is we're going to now go and create a a block and put it into our project setup. The first thing I need to do is we need to open up the Proj symbol style um, uh, DWG over there. You can see there it's now sitting in my my root of my project. Okay. So what we can do now is I'm going to right click. Uh, oh, sorry. First, I'm going to create a block out of it. So let's go and create a block. And I'm going to call this tank 2 and then specify my base point. So this is just the normal block creation that you've got going there. Select my objects. And we've got it going. So there you go. Convert to block. Cool. It's a block. I'm going to go delete it and then save and close down this drawing. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my project setup and I'm going to go and add that to my, uh, to my uh, as, a, as a block or a symbol. So let's go and right click on the project name, project setup. And with that, I'm going to go now and put that into my project. As a library component which i can use all the time okay this does sometimes take a bit of a while just be a little bit patient okay so under my project setup i'm going to go to my pnid dwd settings pnid class definitions that's where everything is set um, engineering items and this is now under my equipment and there's say my tanks at the bottom over here now, if I wanted to create a totally new tank, I could maybe say right click new and let's give it a uh, tank two. Okay, so the class name needs to have an underscore, but then the uh, display name, I can just say tank space two. There we go. So now I've created it over there. Now in my properties over here, you'll see that I don't have any symbols attached to this tank two. So I'm going to go add symbols. And what I need to do is I need to browse for that prod symbol style folder to go grab that block that I've just created. So there we go, Proj symbol style DWG, open that, and here's all the symbols that I've got that's situated in there. So I'm gonna go right down to the bottom, and there you see I've got my tank to add, and click on next. So now, the add symbols settings dialog box will pop up. Um, you know, I can not add more than one tank, so you've got, you know, more than one symbol that you can use for this, and that you're gonna be putting in here. So now what I'm going to do is I need to give it a name, and I'm going to say uh, MGFX Tank, because that's where I get it from. 
Um, the general style, so your layer, you can say you use current or, you know, any of these different layers that have been um, created. I'm going to use, use current for layer, use current for color, use current for line type, line status type, scale and line weight. And the symbol scale is going to be on default one. Do you like to scale it on inserts? I can say yes. So that means as I bring it in, I can scale it up and down as I will, um, you know, like a normal block. So I'm just going to say no for that. Rotate on insert, mirror on insert. So all of these are uh, normal block insertion commands that you have when you are working with, with normal AutoCAD. So it's just kind of simplifying or giving a bit of a user interface uh, for, for yourself to be able to get these going. Okay, so is this a tagged component? Yes, I want to prompt that for a tag or you can automatically put a tag in. Uh, joint type is inline, inline, segment breaker, no joints. I'm going to keep it on inline. And then auto nozzle. Yes, I want an auto nozzle so that when I do bring my, my pipeline on, it's going to automatically create a nozzle on that. And then I'm going to say, right, I want a flat single line nozzle star. Okay, so once that's done, click on finish. And there we go. So there's my MGFX tag. And uh, the last thing, actually, if, if you look at the top of here, I can see, you know, edit style, uh, edit symbol, sorry, remove symbol, edit block, or add to tool palette. So let's add it to the tool palette. So just make sure that it's on the correct one. So what is this tank, equipment, um, compressors, valves. Okay, let's just put it over here. We'll see what happens to it. Add to tool palette. Okay. And it has added it at the bottom over here under drivers and agitator mix. Okay. So click on OK and uh, apply. And let's see if this actually we can bring it in. Okay, so once it's done with that, that's at the bottom. Oh, let's grab it. Okay, so I'm just doing a whole lot of saving here. So select and bring it in. And there we go. Assign tag, number, the next one, assign. And there we go. So there it is. I've now been able to create it. I actually probably should have put onto my equipment layer. Um, I think I've got an equipment layer over here. Yes, equipment is green because you see that's all the other equipment. So let's go and change that. So select, right click, project setup. And on my project setup over here, I'm just going to go to edit the symbol. Okay. And at the bottom of your layer, we're going to say, let's go to equipment layer. Okay. Color. We're just going to say use current, all of that. Click on OK. There we go. I'm going to go add to tool palette now again. Okay, I should have actually just uh, deleted that one initially. But there we go. Let's just see what this does now. It's going to save all the different drawings. Okay, that's fine. Okay, there we go. You see it now has put it onto that green layer over there. So if I select the first one, there we go. It's green. Okay, assigned. And the second one, so I actually didn't have to bring in the second one over here. Cool. So now everything looks like it should. And I'm happy with uh, what has been created. So that's how you can create a PNID sim symbol, either just, you know, on the fly, you know, because it's a one-off, or if you are going to be doing it over and over again, be able to put it into your project settings and use it forever. Thank you very much for watching.